Alrighty. Um, I'm gonna do a little video for y'all. Uh, I know some people were asking about how to clean your points and how to set points, kill switches. So we'll go over uh, some of those. You know, I'm kind of new to these too, but uh, pretty uh, mechanical, and I figured I could help some of y'all out if anybody wants to put some pointers in. You know add anything to it go on ahead so first thing uh tools you're gonna want a nice uh feeler gauge set um majority you're gonna be around uh 200 so that's point zero two all right um for most of your points if you're not sure start there uh that's gonna be a, essentially a, a timing setting too so if your points uh, not correct to the manual, you're going to be either advancing or retarding your timing there by uh, incorrectly setting your points. So you're going to want to look up what the uh, recommended setting is. All right. Um, how a uh, points coil system works. All right. So you got your magnet that spins around your coils. Okay, that charge creates a ma when that magnet passes the coil, it creates a magnetic field that's then harnessed inside your condenser. That stops the the charge from jumping at your open point, and it's like essentially a battery. It holds the charge until the points connect, releasing the charge to your secondary coil winding out to the spark plug. Okay. So, there's a few different uh, types out here, okay, and I'm going to show you all, but they're all, they're all the same, but they might throw you off when you, when you first see them, so. Let's go over a couple of the flywheels. First one is going to be with your magnet inside the flywheel. This is old Johnson. This is a champion. N or, uh, this is a champion. This is an old Johnson. No magnet inside the flywheel. Okay. These magnets are non-adjustable. This is a mercury. The magnet is inside the flywheel, but the adjustments are on the side here. Okay. So you move your magnets in and out instead of moving the coil packs in and out. Okay. So there's your three different coils. Now how the magnets reside is like this. This is your Johnson. So it doesn't have a magnet on the flywheel. The magnet sits on top of the cam. Just like that. On your crankshaft, spins with the motor. Okay, this style uh, tends to not give you as strong of a spark because faster you can get that across there, strong, truer your spark's gonna be. Um, but it gets the job done. All right, um, next is a points file. So a nice little tungsten points file. You can use uh, like some fine grit sandpapers or whatever to clean your points. These are just tools you're going to need um, to do work on these. Alrighty. So we know how it works. We know the different styles of flywheels. How the magnets are assembled. Let's uh, go over what a cam is. And... Uh, if I can find it. There we go. Alright. It all starts here. Here's your cam. If you look at this cam lobe, okay, you're going to have a fat side and a skinny side. Okay. Depending on the motor, um, these are going to be all different, of course, but for the gist of them, you're always going to have this cam down here. So the cam, say on this Johnson, it's down here. This is a, uh, a Elgin 7.5, so don't worry about what it is. But this sits here on the crankshaft underneath the magnet. The magnet goes on top. As this bad boy spins, the high and the low pushes on these points. There's a shaft that resides inside here. Pushes these points open and closed. Okay. Here's the little butterfly. You see these are stuck. 
Okay, but that's how this style works. To set the points on this style, you would put your cam to the high side, because that's where you want your opening. It's going to, when it's on the high side, it's going to be the farthest it's going to push this lever in. All right. So then you will loosen the sled. The style has a sled, and you push it back and forth. That's how you adjust the points. You're going to want to take a feeler gauge, go in here like so, get in there and get that, get that 200s gap right there. Lock her down on the high point of the cam. So then you're set this is a two cylinder. So you would rotate the motor to the high points on this side and repeat the process. Now on this style, this is the old champion. It has a little place set point system here. This little feeler right here rides on the cam. So when you go to the high point of the cam, it's going to push this its farthest position. That's going to be where you're going to want your 200 point set. So you would loosen the screw here and adjust this all the way up so you get your 200 at the points. Lock her down. Okay. That's how you set the points on this champion. We'll go over here to this Mercury. Um. If you look inside here, okay, you got your coils, and then you got your points inside here. Same style, you got the cam that's riding in here. When it gets to its highest point, it's going to push that open. When it gets to its lowest point, it closes it. When it's at its highest point, you're going to want that 200s right there. I got the lower off, I'm replacing all that, so, uh, I can't turn the motor over for y'all right now to see it, but that point is open. It's on the high point of the cam, see what I'm saying? So that's where you'd want to check with your 200 feeler gauge. Come in just like that. 200s, bam, you're good to go, okay? How you set the points on here, this mercury, you got the screw right here. So you put it, this arm at the high point of the cam, and then move this assembly back and forth to get your 200s and then lock it down. Once you lock it down, always recheck, because sometimes it wiggles, moves, so on and so forth. Um, you always want your little uh, cam cleaner. Make sure it's in nice condition. It's not all nasty. All right, um, that's how to set your points. How to clean your points. Take this little feeler, your little gap cleaner, or a little piece of uh, sandpaper. Now, if you use sandpaper, you're going to want to make sure that you use the pull straight up and down. Even with this, this will keep you more true than a piece of sandpaper will. But the sandpaper, you don't want to be pulling to the inside because you're going to wear the point uneven and you're not going to get 100% contact. So you're going to push that on in there and then pull it straight out. Push it in, pull it straight out. Do it over and over till you get that white chalky residue off the points. Same thing for here. I would push on this side, open the point, get my clean in there, let the resistance go so it closes in between the two points and then pull out. Open, pull out, open, pull out. That's going to make sure it has even pressure on both sides and it's going to clean the points together and give you the most optimal uh, contact. Same thing on this one. Open the points up, slide it in, release, pull out. Open, put in, pull out. That's how you're going to clean it. How to set your, uh, your uh, gap from your magnet to your coil. That's going to be different on a couple of these. Um, I haven't quite figured it out on, say, like, the Champion, where the ma the coil doesn't come all the way to the edge of the uh, magneto plate, the magnet plate here. Um, see, on this Mercury, you can come up underneath and check your gap between your flywheel magnet 
in the coil because you're going to want that same uh, gaps point distance at 200 here at your coil to the magnet on both sides because then it's going to mean you're going to be true right in the center. These don't move. That's why the adjustments are on the flywheel. Where these do move. So when you come in with a the flywheel like this, it doesn't have, but you also get to remember, see, no magnets on this flywheel. So the magnet resides on the center. So you would put that bad boy in there, but right on the crankshaft, it has a key, just like the flywheel does. Key's right there. And you're gonna check your gap. You're gonna loosen these screws. Get your two hundreds here at this gap, and then bolt it back down. 200s, bolt it back down, it's going to keep you true right here at the center. Same way over here. Okay, now on this one, like I said, it's tricky because you're kind of blind. So, uh, I'll just, I don't, I'm not sure if you, they'll even touch, but I loosen them and I try to get it as far out as I can without them touching. But, uh, yeah, if somebody has a better way, I'm not quite too sure on how you make sure you get that nice good gap here. Besides moving it till it's about the rub, placing the flywheel on and off until you get a slight rub and then slightly moving it back. Um, other than that, I ain't figured that out. But yeah, I hope this helps uh, help somebody. I know it was a little weird when I first got into it, especially with the different styles. Um, so yeah, it helps.